really need to this key. Not knowing. I heard recently that it's the most intimate. And to connect with the space of not knowing within me triggers a lot triggers a lot of fear, triggers a lot of judgment, a lot of doubt, and uncertainty, and anxiety, and I'm learning to be okay with that, <laughs> to witness it, and not become the fear, and the judgment and the doubt and just honor it for it really creates the opportunity for all of these things to be seen, to be felt and to let go of them because they aren't serving you anymore. I don't resonate with fear, it's just familiar. And I don't resonate with judgment. It's just a conditioning pattern of, of thoughts that I have allowed to become my identity and my situation. And it's not true. It's an illusion. <laughs> I... I don't really know what to feel when I don't feel these things sometimes, like, I do feel equally overcome with gratitude and love, um, but not really for myself, for my surroundings, definitely, I am just saturated in the most beautiful life plants of creatures birds, flowers, hills, green, the color green, the beautiful, freaking, I don't even, how do you even, this mountain that's just chilling here, so gracefully, so magnificent in its beauty and its power, and it just is, it just it doesn't have anything to do but just be it, just be its essence, and that's what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to just be and not identify with all of the things that I was doing before as me, you know, because, you know, I was training and I was working and I was being productive and so... I'm not doing any of those things anymore, and I'm simply just here, and I'm simply just <sighs> trying to breathe consciously and connect to my heart, because my mind is just going, 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 and it's tired. It feels tired. My mind feels tired, and, you know, because it's, it's, working through some heavy emotions and um, it's just wild, it's wild to be here and you know, when I first came here and I was like holy shit like I just dimension jumped into like a whole new reality almost and that's how it feels but the more time I spent here and the more time I spent um, away from all the things that made me me, um, I just have, like, an awareness of all of the things that don't make me me, <laughs> and that's pretty much everything, except for my energy, and my heart, and my, my intentions, those are me, um, my divinity, my connection, to the earth, 
into the cosmos and nothing else really matters like when you're tuned into yourself and tuned into the universe like things just play out the way they're supposed to but we want to have so much control over how things play out i used to freaking write on my whiteboard every week of what i was going to do for the week and what training sessions i was going to have and what to do when i didn't train and all of these options and that's cool too like plan and you know accomplish your goals and things like that but I feel like I lost myself um in just staying busy and going and going and training hard and, and being productive and working hard for my money and and that slowly stopped resonating with me because I was just really out of touch with my truest essence and it was just being and so I started you know doing more things that resonated with me like yoga and stretching and just connecting with my body and the stillness and everything that came up for me you know was something to be witnessed and not something to hold on to and just breathing through it and then you know meditating and especially meditating outside or like under a tree you know it just holds you it nurtures you nature is our mother all of our mother and I just got really I just fell in love with that experience and the energy that I was starting to feel within me from those experiences or during or after and I started praying praying for guidance praying for love and truth and light and wisdom and um, you know, and then I came here, I was completely and divinely guided here, and it shows because I've just been releasing so much and letting go of so much that just doesn't feel like me, and it doesn't feel like truth, and it doesn't feel like real, it feels like so false in my heart, and so made up, and so... I really just am here to be, to heal, to face my demons and face my shadow and and in that I'm feeling a lot of loss, you know, and it's not a loss, like loss feels bad, but loss doesn't mean bad, you know, it's like loss is creating space for things that resonate more true to your heart and more true to your uh, divine purpose or path here in this lifetime and I just get lost in that illusion too I be getting lost in so many different illusions and wanting to have control and like judging my past and what I'm doing and it's just crazy it's crazy but I do feel like a huge void because I feel like I've let go so much and I'm like consciously trying to let go of so much like intentionally I'm like writing like last night to the moon I was like asking to just for 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 the energy of the moon to help me and my angels and my guides and all these benevolent beings around me just help me let go and help me surrender to the unknown and what's next for me and then try not to dwell in that what is next for me you know it's it's cool to visualize and, and imagine the possibilities which are infinite but to be here in the moment creating my reality with my energetic field with my love my my faith, my courage. <laughs> I think that was an affirmation right there. My truth. It's a crow. There's two of them now. Amen, they said. Amen. Um.
I've been having a lot of uh, judgment of my body too because I haven't been training and that idea of doing what was always what I was supposed to do and being productive and and um, I don't know not doing those things have you know I've put on like probably a couple pounds but I've seen my body change and I'm trying to love my body in all phases and that's hard for me I realize <laughs> and it's always been hard but I just have like more growing awareness of all of these things that are just so twisted and so far from real life none of these things really matter it doesn't matter what matters is your energy, your intention, what you put out into this world, your your own love with yourself, within yourself, like, that's a hard one for me, too, so, I, I just want to share all this, because I want to capture this moment, <laughs> I've been in Mount Shasta for over a month now, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be here for a couple months, and just, this is, what's today? Today is April 27th, 2021, and it is like 11.30 in the morning, the day after the, the super moon, and um, I'm, I'm really grateful to be here, I'm grateful to be alive. I'm grateful for the opportunity to grow and evolve and transform and just expand my awareness and open my heart and be so close and connected to nature and to the mountain and learning to do this with myself connect with myself and um, let go of the identity that I had you know put on myself or the identity and beliefs that were put on me from like my past my childhood and my trauma and things like that so it's a lot but this is the spiritual journey you know it's a, de a constant, it feels like a constant death and rebirth, um, and you're, if, if you're really comfortable, like, I don't think that that's really serving you very much, and that's if you have the intentions to grow, you know, if you ask for growth, which is honestly, like, that's the most profound thing I've remembered of my whole life is just wanting to grow wanting to grow that's all I don't want to stay stagnant I had a fear of staying stagnant and um yeah like this itself kind of feels like an illusion when I'm just like just be just be here there's nowhere else to be but here there's no other thing that matters but this moment and this moment feels really good and I'm going to breathe into it and stop letting my mind make me feel like I'm in this huge void of darkness and mm, scarcity, loss, lack. Cause I am so abundant, man. I am so abundant. I am so abundant in love and in color and nature and nourishment and nurturing uh, food and energy and safe space, like a warm bed. I have incense and candles and crystals and all these beautiful things to almost be my friends, <laughs> but it's all beautiful and it's all sacred and your life is sacred and if this resonates with anybody 
just know that I'm here and I love you and I support you and we're in this together. You're not alone. And keep going. Surrender. <sighs> Feel into your heart. Take a deep breath. Feel your energy pulsing through your veins. Be loved. Bye.